Brady Kachuk and scores! Shabbat curled and drives and scores! And the Senators win it. Welcome to Sense Talk. My name is Brandon, and I'm your host. Now, before we get started, please follow us on Twitter at Sense Talk underscore and on Instagram at Sense Talk. Now, last night, the Ottawa Sanders took on the Edmonton Oilers, but before we get to that, a couple of things. Firstly, in the link in the description below, you can order your Sense Talk shotgun tool today. We have sold out three times, so we made a fourth bunch for you guys. So, firstly, thank you all for the support. But if you want to support our channel financially, you can do so by buying a cool piece of Sense Talk merchandise in the link in the description below. You can do that today. We would appreciate that. Thank you all for the support. As well, go to SeatGeek.com and use the promo code SENSTALK to save $20 US off your first purchase. If you go to an event safely right now, I know a lot of you know cities in America, you know Pittsburgh as an example, a bunch of cities in America are allowing fans back in their arenas. So if you're an American hockey fan or whatever watching this right now, use the promo code SENSTALK on SeatGeek.com. You'll save a good amount of money. Now, last night, the Sanders took on the Empton Oilers. And for the Oilers, Miko Koskinen started. And for the Ottawa Sanders, it was young netminder Joey Decord getting the start. Now, as you know, in the, the, these type of game recaps, I'm not going to recap the score. I'm just going to give my game notes and analysis. I figured if the game is a day after, you know, in these type of videos where I'm re recapping the, the game a, a day after the game happened, I would assume you'll know the score. So the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to recap the score quickly, discuss the sense goal scores, and then I'm going to give my game notes, analyze those notes, and then I'm going to get to a few of your questions and then we'll wrap it up. Because I figured if the game was a day after, you already know the score and you'd rather just hear my analysis. So here it is. Last night, the sand unfortunately lost to the Edmonton Oilers 3-2 but Dadanov got a goal nine, 59 seconds into the first period Tim Stutzla got a goal in the latter half of the second period bar down and Koskinen wasn't enough as the Sanders lose 3-2 to the Edmonton Oilers however the game notes firstly Joey Decord was a rock last night if it wasn't for Joey Decord the Sanders would have lost by much more than 3-2 three, uh, than three to two to the Edmonton Oilers Joey Decord was fantastic in the first half of the game Joey Decord was forced to make at least 22 to 24 stops all right he was fantastic and um frankly the sanders left him out to dry multiple times joey decord uh really impressed and you know i want him to be a i like i mentioned in my last video i view him as the number one uh, goaltending prospect in their system and last night was another reason to why i believe that this kid is an absolute beauty a complete another stud and he is easily the best you know, he, he puts out the most consistent results in the NHL. He's so consistent, so calm, so poised. He doesn't give up big rebounds. He's just, he looks ready to win a hockey game in the National Hockey League. And um, last night was another example of why many like myself are high on Joey Decord. Um, he just continues to impress in the National Hockey League. Now, speaking of players who continue to impress in the National Hockey League, Tim Stutzla last night got a goal, his first goal in nine games. But even when Tim Stutzla isn't scoring, he's still contributing. He was a big part of the Drake Batherson goal streak where Drake Batherson scored in, of course, six games in a row. Tim Stutzla was on the line with Drake Batherson and it was a huge part of that goal streak from Drake Batherson. So just because Stutzla isn't scoring goals, he's still finding ways to contribute in the National Hockey League. He will definitely be up there in consideration for the Calder, a trophy given to the Rookie of the Year. Kapril Kreprasov of the Minnesota Wild will have make it a very stiff competition for Tim Stutzla. But Stutzla continues to impress and... Uh, Every single night, he just looks to get better and better and better. And this is for sure 100%, if not already, a future superstar in the making in the National Hockey League. Tim Stutzler is an absolutely beauty of a player, and I'm thrilled that he's an Ottawa Sander. Now, last night, the Sanders got dominated in the first half of the game. Like I mentioned, Joey Decord was forced to make some big stops. Didn't give up big rebounds, but, he, you know, he swallowed up the pucks. But he was forced to really sprawl and make some big stops. But... In the second half of the game, the Sanders really put it on. The Oilers got a lot of chances. Unfortunately, it just wasn't enough. Koskinen was forced to make a couple big stops. Um, but Joey Decord throughout the game was making some big stops. So as the Sanders played better, Joey Decord was still called upon to make the big stop, and he did. So overall, in the second half of the game, the Sanders really, really played well. Now, I'm going to give... DJ Smith some credit where he deserves it because um, credit to DJ Smith for playing Eric Branstrom just under 20 minutes last night. That was impressive. And speaking of impressive, Eric Branstrom was very impressive last night. I liked his game very much. Offensively speaking, for sure. Um, it was one of his better games as an auto sander and hopefully DJ Smith 
begins to utilize Eric Branstrom much more. Now, I want to give credit as well to Thomas Shabbat, uh, who looked very good out there, and he played a lot of minutes. But Shabbat definitely had a, one of his better offensive games. Uh, and Eric Goodbranson as well. I think he was really steady, and it, I got to give him credit. Uh, Goodbranson, Zub also, of course, looked good. Zub always looks good, but Goodbranson looked really steady out there. I, I want to give him credit because I know I'm very hard on him. Um, but last night, he looked really, really good. Now, let's get to the Sense Dog Star of the Night. It is Joey Decor. Overwhelming support for him. Congratulations, Joey. You are the Sense Dog Star of the Night. And let, let, let me get to your questions before I end the video. So the first question comes in from Sens Updates. They ask, should the Sanders protect Joey Decord over Matt Murray? Yes, 100%. Um, Joey Decord is the future of the Sanders netminder position, in my opinion. Joey Decord is the best prospect in the system goalie-wise, in my opinion. And Matt Murray, I think, can rebound and turn into the goalie that we traded for. But I think at a $6.25 million cap hit in the COVID years, you know, during the COVID era where the, the caps could be more flat, it's not going to really fluctuate or go up. Um, you know, Matt Murray, that price tag in the years on that price tag contract, um, you got to protect Joey Decord because no one's going to take Matt Murray on that contract and you cannot afford to lose Joey Decord. Next question comes in from Sens Army 11 They ask, I think most people agree that the, the, the team's biggest need is at uh, the first line position for center. Uh, what do you feel is the most realistic way to address that positional need? The, the three options are develop a current prospect, uh, use the upcoming draft, or trade picks slash prospects to acquire. Very simple. Keep on developing your current prospects and stay the course. You got Shane Pinto, Colin White even, Tim Stutzler, Ridley Gregg. Can I go, you want me to keep on going? We got many prospects coming through, center prospects. We're going to be fine in the center position. I think Shane Pinto or Josh Norris, one of those two, can easily fill the number one center position. I, I more so think it'll be Shane Pinto filling that role, but we'll see. But regardless, I think there's enough talent in the 1C position. With Stuart Slow, of course, included that just keep on developing your prospects and stay the course. Now, in the draft this season, uh, if we get a top five pick, if there's a good center available, for sure take him. But you know what? I'm very comfortable with what we're at right now. I'm not going to trade for a prospect or, or a, you know an elite player, and I'm not going to... And I will use the draft if there's a really good player in the top five. But right now, I would just stay the course and keep on developing the prospects we already have. Now, the final question comes in from Colby Sharir. They ask, when do you start putting pressure on this team and organization to start winning, or is it too soon? Yeah, it's too soon. Um, I think this season is another building year for the Ottawa Sanders. They need to show some improvements, such as, you know, our forwards, our young forwards continuing to show that they can score and produce in the NHL, which they are. Um... We need to see, of course, I would like to see some more wins than last year. But overall, you just want to see the team competing every single night. You want to see the youngsters producing in the NHL. And that's those two things are what we're seeing right now. So while we're losing games, the youngsters are producing. They're still in most of their games right now, and they're fighting hard. So no, it's too early to ask for them to win. But next year, I think you can start asking the question, hey, next year I think would be the year where Ottawa... They may start having to be asked this. You may have to start asking the question for Ottawa. All right, is this year we make a playoff run? And I think next year, uh, I think that'd be an adequate time to ask. Is it time for a playoff run? I think next year, um, I think it's the start of when we should start hitting our contention window. But we shall see. Besides that, ladies and gentlemen, the next Senators game is on Wednesday at 8 p.m. Eastern time versus the Edmonton Oilers. So I will be posting a video after that game. So I'll see you Wednesday night. But besides that, the Senators lose 3-2 to two to the Edmonton Oilers. So make sure to comment below and let me know what you think. I always am interested in reading your comments. And I look forward to engaging with you down in the comment section below. Besides that, thank you for watching. Please follow us on Twitter at Sensor underscore and on instagram at sense talk like this video share this very sure cool stuff and click the big red button down there and subscribe to us and most importantly turn the notification bell on so you get notified whenever we upload a new video besides that the sense will lose three to two i will see you wednesday night when the sense take on the oilers once again thank you all for watching go sense go